Technical Veterinary Learning TVL Channel Founded and produced by Professor Ahmed Mamdouh El Sharif, Professor of Epidemiology and Infectious Diseases of Animals, the ex head of the Department of Veterinary Medicine, the ex vice dean of Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, Banisweef University. Animal infectious diseases caused by Clostridium species toxins. Petulism. It is an infectious disease of all animals characterized by motor paralysis, muscular tremors, recumbence, retarded in consciousness, and death at the end of the disease. Epidemiology. The pathogenic risk factor are the seven types of Clostridium petulinum from A up to G. This photo showing the gram-positive stained Clostridium petulinum slide showing the characteristic long roads and spore formation. Petulinum types from A up to G produce two types of toxins, highly lethal toxin and neurotoxin. Environmental risk factor. This disease mostly distributed during silage season at summer. This disease presents all over the world and are more likely to graze in phosphorus deficient pasture which may lead to bone showing as a pica disease. Animal risk factor Cattle and sheep are more likely infected by toxins of Clostridium botulinum type P and C while equines are mostly infected by petulinum type D. Sources of infection for petulism is the big pole of silage, usually contain petulinum type P, number two, different green fodder, number three, the decaying vegetable material, number four, intestinal toxin, Toxico-infection petulism. Number five, carrion carcasses of dead animals. Number six, the manure of poultry. Number seven, wound petulism are found in equine. Pathogenesis of petulism. Clostridium spores. In the presence of suitable environmental conditions, will produce toxins from type A up to type G, which has neurotoxin and highly lethal toxins. It enters through wounds in case of equines or gastrointestinal canal in case of ruminants absorbed to reach to neuromuscular ends via the bloodstream resulted in decrease in acetylcholine production leads to muscular flaccid paralysis respiratory paralysis ended by death due to suffocation clinical signs Incubation period of petulism is about 3 to 17 days, according to the amount of toxin produced. Bare acute stage in cattle and sheep may be of food and paralysis in hind quarter are seen in cattle and sheep, while in equines there is a colic. Usually, death for all animals had 
spiritualism without any previous signs are no in case of subacute cases of spiritualism the following clinical pictures may be seen restlessness in coordination during walking knuckling ataxia dropped head absence of sensation all over the body reduction of tongue reaction tongue paralysis drawing of saliva accelerated abdominal respiration and then recumbency until death the typical clinical picture of pitulism are hind limb weakness progressing to paralysis then collapse and death tongue paralysis refusal to eat or drink or excessive drawling of saliva aggression sudden death had been noted a picture of pitulism in a goat with signs of paralysis and knuckling Pitulism in a goat with signs of complete paralysis. Pitulism in a cattle with signs of paralysis and complete recumbence. A cattle lying on a side near to death due to pitulism with signs of motor paralysis. Complete paralysis in a cattle with pitulism. Type B butulism in a cattle with signs of drawling of saliva due to motor paralysis. Paralysis and degenerative signs in a disease of horse with butulism that take the typical case as the animal lies on the prescott with the head turned to a side. Paralysis and excess salivation due to impaired swallowing due to butulism. A horse with butulism showing a motor neuron disease leads to paralysis with degenerative signs in equines where a motor neuron disease in this horse leads to muscular paralysis with degenerative signs it could not eat and the food come out from paralyzed lips motor neuron disease due to pitulism in equines leads to paralysis and the animal take the typical form it lines on its prescott and his head on a side motor paralysis in a pole due to pitulism where the animal knuckling motor paralysis in a lamb due to pitulism flaccid paralysis of a sheep tongue due to putulism. Paralysis of cattle tongue due to putulism. The arrow shows flaccid paralysis of cattle tongue due to putulism. Paralysis of a horse tongue due to putulism. Typical signs of a case lying on the prescott with a head aside with paralysis of tongue due to pitulism in cattle. Post-mortem examination in cases of animals with pitulism showing non-specific lesions. Laboratory diagnosis. Clinical samples where suspected food materials, serum from living animals, liver and intestinal content from dead one laboratory examination by toxin detection by neutralizing test detection of antibodies by ELISA test and isolation and identification of the microorganism on a specific media in case of pitulism the differential diagnosis from tick paralysis organophosphorus poisoning Equine encephalomyelitis and rabies diseases. We're keeping you on the right track, so please subscribe the channel to reach to the most newest knowledge about the epidemiology and different infectious diseases 
of different species of animals. See you later.